Wouldn't you love to have a way that you can look back on your day-to-day -day life years ago? That's exactly what these pocket notebooks provide you the ability to do. Just imagine looking back on this notebook five years from today. How cool would it be to have all of those thoughts and ideas documented in a physical place that you can look back to for years to come? After seven years of consistently using these little pocket notebooks, my method for using them is constantly changing. But here's the exact process of how I've used them to achieve my goals over the past year. Number one is that I set quarterly goals on the inside of the back cover of the notebook. Number two is that I write a daily progress update of the action that I took to achieve that goal. This way you can document what step you took, how it felt, and how it benefited you getting closer to that goal. Number three is that I document any ideas that come to my head throughout that day or week. Number four is that I review my goals and ideas I have written in the notebook often and add or edit as needed. And that's about it. Sounds pretty simple, right? That's because it is. I used to strictly use them only for daily updates and nothing else, but I've found that using my phone to document ideas that come to my head throughout the week is just way too distracting. I end up pulling out my phone and being distracted for 10 to 15 minutes and completely forget what I was going on my phone for in the first place. You can probably relate to this and that's why I recommend using pocket notebooks. I also find that they're super easy to carry around and they're really easy to store wherever you need them. I personally use this Welsh Mountain journal holder. It is amazing. I absolutely love it and would definitely recommend it to anyone. Uh, this one, I just have a little field notes notebook in it right now. I usually use Moleskin, but uh, because I needed them quickly, these were just the easiest option right now. Basically the same idea. Um, and then this little guy also has a pen holder and then a couple of spots to put business cards and any other thing that you want to add to this side of the holder. It's stylish lasts forever and gets better with age. Having these little notebooks also allows you to physically document things that come to your mind. So that way you don't have to rely on brain power to remember the thing that you needed to do, the great idea that you had, or whatever else it might be that you need to document. This allows for a lot less stress and distraction when trying to balance the many things going on in your head. I always find that when I fill these notebooks, I'm amazed at how much progress I made during the two months that it takes me to fill them and you will find a deep sense of accomplishment with all of the action that you took and documented. Have an idea that you wanna put on paper? Use a notebook. Have an idea for a doodle or a logo you wanna create? Use the notebook. Have an idea for a video, a song lyric, or a quote that you came up with? Use the notebook. Rather than thumbing through your phone, bringing up a digital note, and going through several other distraction of notifications on your phone along the way, I prefer just to open up my pocket notebook and write it there. I can always transfer these ideas from my pocket notebook to a digital note afterwards. I just wanna capture the ideas that I have in the most organic and natural, undistracted way before my mind is distracted by the noise on my phone or in my environment. I think pocket notebooks are an extremely important way to document any ideas that you have and use them as a landing strip for anything that comes to mind. They're a perfect way to capture your ideas, struggles, pain points, and anything else along your daily journey. Just imagine looking back on this notebook five years from today. How cool would it be to have all of those thoughts and ideas documented in a physical place that you can look back to for years to come? You'll always be amazed at how far you've come when you look back on previous year's notebooks. This method isn't meant to be torture, it's simply meant to be a way to foster growth and change. If you're having trouble keeping up with it, simply write that down. Just write down how terrible it is. Or if you're feeling good about yourself, write that down and write down why you might be feeling that way and how you can do it again in the future. Think of each of your daily updates as real world feedback for what does or doesn't work for you personally. That is priceless info to have. I'm clearly very stoked about pocket notebooks, planners, and writing things down in an analog way. So I'll definitely be making more videos about this in the future. Let me know what you want to know about my process and how I can make these videos better for you. If you have any specific questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll definitely get back to you. If you end up using this method, feel free to tag me in any posts that you create. I'd love to see how this is working for you guys. There's really no right or wrong way to use pocket notebooks. That's kind of the beauty of them. So go ahead and buy a three pack and see how they can transform your year. I'll leave a link below with the pocket notebooks that I prefer to use along with this leather journal holder that I love to use. My name is Eric. Thanks for tuning in today. Hopefully this is helping you to get more organized. Stay stoked. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.